Good morning, Newman Smith. I'm Dr. Jimenez, the proud principal of Newman Smith High School, where our mission is to graduate all scholars to be college, career, or military ready without remediation. Happy Monday, everyone. Let's start our announcements with our pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee. Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for our moment of silence. Thank you, and you may be seated. Welcome to Newsday with Dr. J. Remember, the purpose of our news and the fact that we all watch it at the beginning of second and sixth period is to build culture and community on our campus. And don't forget, while you're searching for our news, to hit subscribe. Now, scholars, this is where we need your help. If you have a substitute in your classroom, we would like for you to help them show the news. So everyone, if you have a substitute, make sure you offer to help the substitute show the news by going to the YouTube channel and turning it on in your classroom. All right, our SAT word of the day today is acquisition. It's a noun. It's the act of gaining a skill or possession of something. The sample sentence is language acquisition is easier for kids than it is for adults. So if you're learning a second language, much easier as a child than an adult. All right, our quote of the day, and this is one I really appreciate. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. So if you want to become a better, uh, someone who is better at studying, do it in small chunks every day, and then you'll be great at it before you know it. So sometimes we just do things uh, in small ways, in repetitive ways, and then they become our really great habits that help us to become better leaders and better people. All right, don't forget that we are with you to the end of the line. That is right. What is the end of the line? It is graduation. It is our mission. So freshmen, we want to make sure that you know and understand that credits are made up of two parts. One part is your attendance in class. The other part is a passing grade of 70 or above. So please make sure that you are receiving all of your credits to graduate on time. Finally, how do you do that? Well, we show Trojan pride by always exhibiting our five pillars and then make sure that you are working to improve your achievement goals on our five EOC tests at the end of the year. Well, speaking of Trojan pride, we are going to build some culture and community today with a guest on our news. But before we do my slide, I need to do some reminders. Sorry about that. All right, so let's talk schedule changes. These are due the 16th by 4 p.m. That's to, that's Wednesday at 4 p.m. So do not miss that window of opportunity. If you need a schedule change, and remember, we only make uh, schedule changes when you're missing a required class, when it's a change in program, when you already have credit on your transcript, or you're looking to level up to AP or pre-AP. So don't be surprised if those come back with a no if you're just looking to switch. Uh, an elective because we're not we're not able to do that we've already assigned teachers and courses in the master schedule and so uh, you'll have to just wait until next year but go ahead and get those turned in by Wednesday at 4 p.m. and then finally I just wanted to say you guys have done an amazing job opening school tardy start today be sure to wear your ID every day and then our smart pass lesson today is going to be really important because we will no longer be issuing paper passes on the campus. So please make sure you know how to get yourself a smart pass to the restroom or to the nurse or wherever you need to go. And then remember the C lunch change. Everybody goes back to class from C lunch. That's just like all of our other high schools here in CFB. Now back to our Trojan pride. Let's have our guest on the news. We're so excited. We actually stole him from a neighboring district and he is our new defensive coordinator and world geography teacher on the campus, Coach Freeman. So come on over, Coach. Tell us about your experience at Smith so far. It's been amazing. Uh, the scholars have been uh, outstanding, uh, welcoming me, uh, helping me get around the building, just like some of the new ones that I'm running into, and just building that, that or showing me that culture that's established here at Smith, and it's been outstanding. It is so difficult to get around this building. Like, what building in their right mind has compass directions? Newman Smith, because we have the smartest scholars in the world. If anyone can figure out this building, it's our scholars. Seriously, southeast, northeast, southwest, northwest. 
Whew, it's exhausting. I'm glad they're helping you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, so how's football going, Coach? It's been it's been wonderful. I mean, we, we started, we, we had a great summer. We had a great summer workouts. And then we started fall camp last week, a couple days before school started, a week before that with our, our freshmen. And we're just building. We're getting better every day. We're building to that next opportunity for us, which is going to be this Thursday night in our scrimmage against uh, Garland Name Forest. That's so we're right. really excited. We're That's really excited. Right. We have a scrimmage this Thursday. Don't forget, is it here or there? It's in Garland. All right. Well, I'll be there. So I'm super excited. We're going to be going to Garland. Coach, I was going to ask you, you know, it's just been so hot outside. So hot. Tell us a little bit about how you and our athletes and, of course, not just football, but band and our trainers and how are you guys coping with the heat? Well, it starts with hydration and taking care of our bodies and, and doing it days before preparing and getting rest at night, going to sleep at night, not staying up late, uh, and then just fueling our bodies, taking care of that. But then also the precautions that our district has in place where we're going to take care of our scholar athletes and we're going to go inside when we have to and we're going to take the time necessary to recover and do all those great things. But, you know, we haven't let the heat and not being able to be outside keep us from getting in great work and, and getting to where we ultimately want to be. And we want to achieve great things this year. So we're not going to let the heat stop us. That's right. We're not going to let the heat stop us. We're actually going to kick it up an extra degree with our effort. Um, now, I know this is your third actual day at school with us. So on the news, we always close our news with uh, we'll tell them that we love them. We think that they're great. We remind them about character. But then at the end, when we say make it a great day or not, you'll help me say the choice is yours. Because we believe at Newman Smith, scholars, freshmen, just so you know, we believe that Every day you can choose to embrace that day. You can choose to have a good attitude regardless of what happens to you, that you choose the climate of your day. And that's why we say make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. So please know that we love you. We think you're great. Remember character counts and make it a great day or not, the choice is, is yours. yours. Great job, coach.